Mr Chandler was, for the periods between 1959 and 1962, an employee of Cape Building Products Limited, which was a subsidiary of Cape PLC. In 2007, Chandler discovered that he had contracted asbestosis as a result of being exposed to asbestos whilst working for Cape Building Products. He sought to obtain compensation, but Cape Building Products had been dissolved many years before. And during Chandler's period of employment, Cape Building Products had no insurance policy in place that would indemnify Chandler for the loss. Accordingly, Chandler commenced proceedings against the parent company, Cape PLC. The court held that Cape assumed responsibility towards Chandler and so owed him a duty of care which it had breached. Accordingly, Cape was ordered to pay damages to Chandler. Chandler is an important case, but it's important to understand its current impact, as here, the courts emphatically rejected any suggestion that the imposition of liability on CAPE involved piercing the corporate veil. The court stated clearly that the duty was based on CAPE assuming responsibility towards Chandler, which it had breached. The court was keen to stress that the duty of care owed by a parent company to employees of its subsidiaries did not arise automatically and would only occur where the three-stage test in Comparo Industries and Dickman was met. Accordingly, whilst Chandler is not an example of the courts piercing the veil, it does demonstrate that liability can be imposed on a parent company for the actions of its subsidiary without having to pierce the corporate veil.